I'm up here in uh, Weiser State Forest again, Roaring Creek area, Roaring Creek track. And I'm going to go along through here and see how far I can get. I want to meet up to where I had ended on my other hike a couple of weeks ago. And then I had turned around and I came back another way. So I expect uh, to get out to at least that creek I was at. Oh, in about an hour maybe, I'm hoping, and then come back. Depends on just how fast I can get moving on this trail with the uh, snow and the ice. And but it is nice. I have uh, walked in here, oh, maybe about an hour, hour and ten minutes or so. And I have come to uh, where I turned around the last time. The creek is right up here. And the... Uh, the, uh, just a moment. The foundations are just a, a few minutes up the uh, trail. We'll take a look. There's the foundations over there. I would imagine that it's pretty well iced up by now. Oh, it's running. That's a good thing. Up that away is the foundations. Yeah, it's opened up pretty good. Yeah. I would say it was easy hiking. There was a skier, as you can see, came through one time. Just following up to where he uh, came through. So I am going to uh, find somewhere to take a break and then my, make my way back the way I came. It's a good winter hike. 
We have an inch or two coming and a lot of ice. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get up here again. But there is the uh, Homestead Trail. There it is. I'm going to put a, uh, a video up that I had made when I was up at the foundations. And I'm going to put that up along with a couple of pictures. Uh, there is just a, a leather pouch I was uh, showing. And I never did get that on the other video. So I'm going to put that on a little bit later. So I'm glad I found this place. Been on my mind for a couple of weeks and it has been well worth it. It's a good afternoon to be here. I also wanted to show this. It's been with me too. This belonged to my good friend Marty, whose father had this. So, I'm really thankful for them. His father used this, and Marty used this for, for many, many years while he uh, hunted and went out into the woods. So, it is great to have this. Got a nice pouch in there for all my necessities and zipper. Uh, it's beat up, it's old, but it is really nice. Take it along with me. I have a, I put an emergency blanket in here. A poncho. Some paper items, matches, lighter. Things that I may need that if I ever get so far out that I can't find my way out. So it's nice here. Time-wise, I am moving around 2.3 miles per hour, which is what I thought I would do. Usually my pace, when there are no hills or mountains or uh, rocks to climb over. So I expect really to be out of here within an hour and a half. If I don't get lost. So the hiking is a little bit easier going back. I am stepping in my step prints that I made on the way down. Here is the intersection to the old reservoir trail. If that interests anybody. So I mean it's 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 not easy hiking. I wouldn't want to do this for uh, 10 hours on the Appalachian Trail. That's for sure, day in and day out. They did have some uh, good snow down there in the Carolinas and uh, some guys had to get off the trail for, for a little while. And they're not back on the trail yet. Uh, there has been some storms down there and they may be getting uh, some more ice down in there, keeping them off the trail. There are reports uh, of a knee high deep snow up in the in the Smokies so that's uh, not easy and if a hiker was smart he'd stay out of there too for a little while to be honest with everybody I don't think I'd start the Appalachian Trail in January I think I would start it later on for the for this very reason It is uh, nice, nice to be out here. 
on a warm groundhog day about 42 degrees maybe 43 it is nice <laughs>